All right, y'all, what's going on? What's going on? Red beans and rice that y'all see a little short for sweet potato cornbread and Stuff. greens. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Go subscribe. Even if you aren't, if you haven't subscribed, definitely go and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell to so get notifications the next time we post a video. Leave us some comments down below. Let us know things you see us try, things you see us cook. Interact with us because we do like to hear from you. I'm going to say grace and get started. Dear Holy Father, thank you for this food that we're about to receive for nourishment of our bodies and health. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Um, okay. I made this red beans and rice. I got something I forgot to record in the short. I did use the camellia beans or whatever, the ones that the folk from New Orleans use or whatever. Um, I used them red beans. I um well I use andouille sausage and smoked sausage because I mean a while no andouille sausage is like The thing you're supposed to use in red beans and rice, I also just like the taste of smoked sausage, so I did use that as well. I'm that big old pot. <laughs> Gavin. Gavin. But I was Quincy. anticipating people coming over, over for football Sunday or whatever, so I wanted to make sure that I had enough. And for people to be able to take some home too. I mean, no bro gonna eat it for for lunch. I was thinking about trying to freeze some, which I really should. Thing is, I ain't got no room in this freezer. Need a one of them. We'll see if I can make it shake. Go above it. The baby, did you have a good time at your party? Yeah. My my dad celebrated me. Mm -hmm. He did because it's my birthday. Okay. Because my children said, Mom, can I have get up at this time? No. Why? Because it's rest time. Can I, um, um, go to sleep at this time? Yeah. Cause mom, can I, um, touch, teachers touch, touch, somebody's TV? No. Huh? Um. Sure. I made some pork chops, but the pork chop gone. Pork chops? What's pork chops? Pork chops. Chops. I mean, I don't think I fried. I don't know how many came in that pack. I'm gonna say between 15 and 20. Okay. I fried. Okay. I fried. Okay. 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 Okay.
Like everybody really loves the sweet potato cornbread. I did. I I use I used, I used recipe, <clears throat> recipe from this girl that they had posted on the shade room one time, but. She didn't, I think you could pay for her recipe, but um, she just put the video of her making it or whatever, but didn't put like the, and the ingredients, but just not the measurements and stuff. And um, so I just winged it. Hey mom. Huh? But I'm not just gonna eat cornbread. I'm going to cornbread. Huh? Okay. Mom, can you watch my iPad? Um, I was watching, uh, my brother had sent us, um, what's it called? I don't know, Shannon, um, uh, Uncle Shannon, uh, Ocho Cinco's podcast. I don't know if it was a, what, I guess it was a recap from this past weekend. Yeah. And uh, some really funny mo moments in there. I mean, I was listening to the football stuff, but that was the the most interesting part. One of the most interesting parts was um, how did that even get on the subject? They got on like um, oh. Every now, I guess they maybe I don't know. I haven't watched more than one full episode, so I don't know if they always like sprinkle in like real world events in addition to um, talking about whatever happened in the football games and stuff. And so there was this story of what going around about. This chick, I guess, she, I think she maybe put it on social media or whatever that she was going on a date and the guy wanted to take her to the Cheesecake Factory and she was like not having it or whatever. I, get, I think people have been going in on her probably. Uh, which I think is pretty crazy because, listen, take me to the Cheesecake Factory, okay? That's my favorite restaurant. So I would be more than happy. I mean, I like to eat or whatever. Um, but I don't feel like I'm requiring somebody to take me to some high-end restaurant. I don't think I know I'm not requiring anybody to take me to high-end restaurants or whatever. For dates. I like how... Um, I don't know. Like I, I'm happy. I, I don't know. I'm simple, and I'm happy. Listen, I'm happy with a home cooked meal for real, for real. Because I'm always cooking. Like so, if somebody took the time like to cook me a meal, I'd be a happy camper. Um. 
Yeah, but that's crazy. Like, what's wrong with it? I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. Like, Mm -mm -mm -mm. But I like how um, uh, Ultra Single just kept saying, like, stay within your tax bracket, act your age, and act your weight, or act your wage. So act how you can afford, or what you can afford. Um, But he was talking about, you know, a place like Ruth Chris, that's a, um, that's a chain. Maybe I think maybe there was reference to it being because it was a chain restaurant, but Ruth Chris is a chain. Other restaurants they had mentioned were chains and stuff like that. They just probably, just, you know, obviously cost a little bit more, but. I had me to the Cheesecake Factory. I'm really just not. picky take me to wherever you can afford if that and hey if it ain't nowhere like we can we don't gotta go out to eat you don't have to spend money we could chill you know what i'm saying like not chill not netflix and chill but like you know like simple dates like going to the park or something like that like, i don't know mm -hmm. simple stuff that is affordable don't cost much like or cost anything at all you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. and then what else did he say? And they said something else funny. Oh, so but that because of that, Uncle Shannon told a story about how um He had was I think it was when he first got drafted or whatever possibly so but he was taking care of, like he was sending money home he had a car note he had a you know his living his housing or whatever and then I think he had a girlfriend at the time that he was paying for her schooling or whatever but y'all I'm gonna have to look at the comments of the video because I'm trying to figure out if anybody even heard or picking up on what I picked up on. And that's the fact that while he had said girlfriend, he also, he was about to take another chick out to eat. And he was like, or it seemed to me, that's what it seemed like. It ain't say, he ain't say that he was taking his girlfriend out at the time, but like he was going to take somebody out to eat. And, you know, they go to a restaurant and he was like, well, I'm going to just order scale down on my order just in case she order a little bit more or whatever, whoever the chick was. And so he, you know, decided he was going to get a Caesar salad and something else. And, um, or maybe he was just going to get a Caesar salad. I don't even know. But when the waiter came to ask for their order, you know, he was asking the chick if she was ready to order because he, he knew what he wanted. And I guess she was looking at the menu. He was like, she said, you know, I'm trying to figure out what goes good with lobster. He said condoms. <laughs> he said, because if you order that, we're going to have sex tonight. And I'm just like, listen, Lord, you hear me? I was rolling. He said, we're going to have, we going to get it on. Okay. You want me to spend that type of money on you? And he said, I don't know what she ended up ordering, but he never heard from the chick again after that. And that's what made me believe that it was not the girlfriend or whatever. So while that's funny that that happened, the fact that the line was just like, he's just, and Ocho Single was just cracking up. He like fell out of his chair. He was laughing so hard. Um, but... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But I feel that though, I mean, we, like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Who knows why or how things got like this, you know, as far as like, 
women's expectations or possibly it was probably because she knew that he was a football player maybe just thought that he had it you feel me like and then they also was talking about how you know the average man ain't making like six seven figures or whatever so And, and they were saying something else about how, you know, the men, like, who are making that money are, like, it's, a, it's only a certain type of women that are attracted to them or whatever. So, they out here dating. They all dating the same type of, or same type of woman or same woman or whatever. But they getting they pick of the litter of the women because, like, it's only a certain, you know, handful of men who, who are at that bracket that attract those type of women or whatever. And then he also said something about like, you know, uh, I, I don't know if he did it, but uh, Uncle Shannon was talking about how he, you know, may have borrowed money from somebody or borrow somebody's car or whatever to impress a woman. But it was just like, if you had to keep doing that, then it wasn't going to last long because he wasn't going to borrow money every time. He wasn't going to borrow somebody's car every time. I was just single kept saying, if you have to... If you gotta show start off with money or if you gotta basically if you gotta show or flex how much money you got or whatever, then she ain't the one or whatever. That's fact. But I mean, I know that there are people out here that, you know, be trying to get what they can out of people on both sides. I mean, I would say, but probably mostly women are the culprit, okay? For sure. For sure. We're we're admitting it. I don't know, pretty interesting uh podcast though, or episodes on youtube or whatever that i watched so i figured i'd share that with y'all because i just got finished watching that but yeah these red beans and rice was the bomb this is my second time making it and it was funny because so i watched um this one chick she's from new orleans i forget what her name is but uh she mailing a recessive but she she from new orleans okay um well, she actually eat hers with mustard. I didn't put mustard in it, but I'm gonna try that because she said, don't make it too dry. I'm gonna try it before I knock it. I don't know, but um, and yellow mustard with that. Um, but she, I had seen her recipe for red beans and rice a minute ago, a couple years ago or whatever on Facebook. And then I seen, I ran across it again on TikTok and I had saved it. And then Simply Food by, by T.Y. made some red beans and rice like maybe a month or two like two months ago maybe or something like that or right when the fall was about to start and i was like oh let me say this because i know i'm gonna make this soon or, you know i like making making like comfort hearty meals like uh, when the fall hit Where was my so chicken um so well, I crack up is because I, I just saved the recipe down. I might have watched a little bit of it, but I didn't watch the whole thing. So I was watching. I started watching the whole thing as I'm cooking. And I saw that he said to not to put. He was like, I don't know where y'all get the putting flour in the red beans. But you do not have to do that. You just take uh, some of the beans out and smash them up. And that releases the natural starch, which will thicken up the beans. I didn't see that part before I did put the flour in there. But that, um, that I'm going to make sure I do that now from here on out or whatever. I just, I didn't know that, but that's tight. That's a dope little trick there for real. Um, and it worked and it, and I, and it also doing that, I feel like makes it real, like authentic red beans and rice or whatever, because I always be wondering why Popeye's looks like that or whatever, like how. I can't even explain, but y'all know what I'm talking about. It looks like it, it looks like they now that I know or now that I did what I did, I think. Um, um Yeah, now that I know, I feel like um I'm definitely gonna do that. And now I think that's what they did or whatever, and that's what I don't know. It gives it that consistency that you not just like a soupy consistency, but it adds a little bit of something to it. So but on that note, I'm peace out on y'all. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. Let us know. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching this Cook interact with us because we do like to hear from you. And subscribe to the channel. Go ahead subscribe. And hit that bell so we get notifications the next time we post a video. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. I've been forgetting. Bye.